Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the F-15E Strike Eagle and we're looking at Nav Fleur. To enable Nav Fleur we must have the ANAAQ-13 Lantern Pod equipped on this station here. Today we're flying at night and we need a way of seeing so that we don't crash into buildings or mountains. And that's the purpose of Nav Fleur. First of all, I'm going to press left, alt and lever to turn my flashlight on just to help me around the cockpit. I'm going to turn, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to turn all of my interior lights on just so you can see what I'm doing. You probably wouldn't do this in real life. Okay, to turn the nav flare on, we're down here. Nav flare from standby to on. Also, turn our levels and gains on. We'll adjust these further as we go. I would suggest turning them about half a turn on for now. The Nafler can be shown in the HUD and in our MPDs. First, the HUD. We need to turn on the video. We've got two controls here, brightness and contrast. We turn the knobs until we find a setting that we're happy with based on the ambient light conditions. So let's say that there. On the MPD, menu, HUD. Navfleur. The Navfleur brightness is controlled by these controls here. The HUD brightness and contrast is controlled by these here. So we need to set them up differently. So I'm going to just change them here. Okay, I'm fairly happy with that. Next, we also have further options for the Navfleur in the UFC. So from our base menu, we have Navfleur here. Press that OSB. Options. We can have in normal mode, as standard, or boresight mode. We'll come back to boresight mode. We have a grayscale, currently not functional, but it's obvious what it's going to do. We also have gain level. Do we want it manual or automatic? Again, currently not available, but it's obvious what it's going to do. We have polarity, white hot or black hot. Look in turn is an interesting function that would allow the Navfler to look ahead of us in a turn, but currently not functional. Now let's try boresight. The cool thing about boresight is it allows us to manually slew the Navfleur image away from the boresight of the aircraft. So if I want to adjust it in the yaw, then I go to the scratch pad. Let's say I want to go positive 20. So two, zero, yaw. It's now moved in the yaw by 20. 20 watt, 20 degrees, 20 radians, 20 milliradians. It doesn't actually say in the documentation, but my guess is milliradians. If I want to put it back, I go zero and yaw. I want to go further, let's say 250. Yaw, it's now 250. You can actually see part of our aircraft there in the Navfleur. Let's put it back. And in the pitch, well, what if I want to do negative? I'm going to do shift zero for minus and 200. No idea what this is going to do, let's see. Okay, that's gone up, and you can see again a bit of our aircraft into the sky. Let's reset it back to zero. So that shows yaw and pitch. Roll, we enter the same, but currently not functional. That will be coming later down the road. And finally, the most exciting one is elect. Elect, again, unfortunately not functional at the moment, when selected, will allow us to manually slew the Napola about with our TDC controls. So I'll actually be able to move it down here and down here and down here with my axes. For the time being, I'm going to turn that off and go back to norm. I am now going to have a little fly around these mountains and see what it looks like. One question I've got for the viewers and my pilots that are watching, um, I mean it's a cool solution, but why not the same solution as the F-18 and the F-16, which is just to get some relatively cheap night vision goggles which allow me to look everywhere. Why this expensive solution? Is it because night vision goggles weren't available at the time of Navfleur? What are your thoughts? Well, I'm, I'm guessing it's like um, on the F-18 when you're head down on your multi-purpose display, you've got your uh, velocity vector indicator and your horizon on there. So is it just an evolution of allowing you to be heads up completely still and able to look out of the cockpit situation and awareness? Um, and just gives you everything in front of you where it's most most comfortable. It's actually a fair comment. Yeah, good comment. So actually, the Block 40 version of the F-16 was designed with this nav flare pods installed on them. That's why the Block 40 HUD is different. And it has a reflecting glass that does this exact same effect. 
Uh, they just removed it as the invention of night goggles kind of came on. Plus, the F-15 took over that particular role. The F-15 took over that particular role of flying low uh, and just hugging the ground to go in. So, it's kind of a, a way for the pilot to be in the cockpit and still have a visual way to see what's going on around him that like the the previous guy had said still gives him flight data information because the uh, night vision goggles won't give you that or you lose depth perception with night vision goggles absolutely absolutely and that's a really good point i never would have thought of guys that's the navfla as it is now more functional lots more functionality will come soon i hope you enjoyed that and see you later